For the first episode of the Salon Experience, we're heading to Midtown Detroit to visit Textures by Nefertiti's Salon. St. Clair and I'm known as the Wash and Go Queen of Detroit, Michigan. Today we're going to do a Wash and Go with Shari J. She hasn't been able to achieve a Wash and Go so I'm going to prove to the world and her that she can achieve a Wash and Go. A lot of people think that you can get a wash and go because your hair is a kinkier texture but all an afro is is curls that are frizzed, dehydrated, and needs hydrated. So the first thing we're going to do is strip everything out of her hair that is blocking her hair from enhancing the curl. So we're going to do a clarifying shampoo and then we're going to do a conditioning treatment and I'm going to use my fingers. I'm not going to use a comb or a brush in her hair because we don't want to add any added frizz to her hair because combs and brushes, only thing they do is um, separate the curl and add frizz. After that, we're going to apply a leave-in conditioning treatment. Then we're gonna add a styling gel. So we'll see how it goes. I know it's gonna work, so it's just her that thinks it's not gonna work. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> a looser curl pattern that you you could almost put anything in your hair and it will curl out like a jada pink but with a kinkier texture you really do want to stay away from the um, silicones the uh, mineral oil and petroleum and the sulfates for curl enhancement okay. together your curls so your curls it kind of like puts like a memory if that makes any sense to um, how your curls are supposed to be on your head mm -hmm. because combs and brushes separate the curl and add frizz first thing you want to do it might take a long time for you to do it but then gradually it, it gets better so what you want to do is separate the hair like this all over and this is just getting some of the tangles out start from the bottom I was forming the curls together, clumping them together. It is a process for your curls to look how they're supposed to because it's a hydration level that you need to reach and it's called maximum hydration. Once your hair reaches maximum hydration, you will be able to notice because you'll have more curl, less frizz or kink or whatever kind of curl pattern that you have. But everyone has a curl pattern. It might be a zigzag, a S, or a coil all the way around but everybody has a curl pattern. I think I have a zigzag. Yeah, you do. Okay. Mm -hmm. What I normally do, when I first start finger detangling my hair, I would saturate it all with a good conditioner, take my time, sit in front of, um, probably watch YouTube or a movie. Watch my videos, right? Yeah. Watch your videos. <laughs> <laughs> and I would just take my time and um, just work through my hair with my fingers. That's what really taught me how to really do it. Find a tangle like this right here. Only thing you want to do is just separate it. Yeah. 
only thing combs do is will just snatch that hair out. This is so relaxing. <laughs> sometimes you know people detangling hair, you're like, Ugh. oh yeah, and your head be jerking. I can't jerking that, on that your makes, head. Yeah. That makes me cringe when I see that. Yeah. Because I know it's a better way. You just have to take your time. Yeah. And a lot of stylists don't want to finger detangle because it takes time. Yeah. You know, but you want to give a good service you know you want to make sure you're um teaching people healthy hair care and not just yanking the hair out mm -hmm. if you care about your your clients and you want them to have you know to achieve the best look that they can why wouldn't you want to you know take your time and work through their hair and that's teaching them you know how to handle their hair because our hair is known to be bad nappy unmanageable and i'm showing you now that it, it's not you know, it is workable. So then I'm teaching you, so then you can teach somebody else. So we could break this chain of thinking our hair is bad because it's really not. Our hair is unique and beautiful. take your time to work the product through section by section as your hair gets more hydrated you're going to spend less time defining your curls because your curls are already being tapped problem areas in our hair is normally the crown it takes a little bit more time to get hydrated because everything beams down on the crown when you're in the shower the water beams down on your hair the sun beams down on your hair also so that takes a little bit more time to get it um, hydrated. Can you talk about why you're using two gels instead of just one? I just really like that gel. I've tried Eco Styling Gel. The Eco has a protein in it. So within time, your hair is going to get like protein overload mm -hmm. and you're having to style your hair for a long period of time. So the protein is not really good for our hair unless your hair has a little bit damage and your hair is going to love it. Okay. If you have like color in your hair or your hair is relaxed. Okay. I use I like to use this gel because when I put it on you'll be able to see. It kind of like sleekens it out and it adds shine. Okay.
the next episode of the Salon Experience, I head to Allen Park, Michigan to Anthony's Hair Incorporated to get my hair shaped up by Melissa Stites. I'm creating the shape layer by layer, curl by curl. Mm -hmm. Every different curl type has its place. That looks good already. I love it. I love how you can see it happen. Mm -hmm. And I do want to say, that's where my clients are always so nervous about mm -hmm. getting a haircut. I think that's what they appreciate too. Being able to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Because when we got our hair cut wet or you had this all stretched out, mm -hmm. you would have to wait to the very end to find yeah. out if you liked it or not. Yeah, that's so true. You know, so this technique really has helped me build a level of trust. Mm -hmm. <laughs>